but I'll have the most random things popping in my head when I'm trying to go to sleep. So I'll be laying there and then all of a sudden, did you lock the front door? Did you pay that bill last week? Did you turn the water off at the barn? And then obviously you have to get up and check because there's no going back to sleep. At least that's how my brain works and I just can't get past it. So picture me the other night. I'm laying in bed, finally decided to get off of YouTube and TikTok and try to close my eyes. All of a sudden, boom. I know why that burnout and chomper the other day was really freaking crappy. And that's because you wired your two-step to your brakes. And so you were hitting the brakes trying to do a burnout and it's set on 2,500 and it's not going to spin the tires at 2,500. It needs more RPM. And so I'm fixing that today. I went on eBay and found this really cool switch panel that we're going to be installing today. We'll toggle switches, four of them, so we can add, you know, whatever. Um, but this is going to allow us to basically on the fly swap our two-step on and off. No more two-foot two-step. So... I'm super excited. This thing looks awesome. It's 3D printed. It's like $26. I'll have a link to it in the description. If you make these, shout out to you. Maybe give me a discount code or something that I can, you know, hook the boys up with. Either way, uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, taken apart and then reinstalled. So that blue wire right there is our remote trigger. I wired it to the white wire on our brake pedal and it works flawlessly, but obviously there is a few downsides to having it, you know, trigger off of the brakes being applied. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove that, repair the factory wire, and then we can run our trigger wire up underneath the dash to our new switches. Let's go ahead and get our bezel off. This is gonna be our little cubby we're gonna be replacing. We did have our auxiliary cord there, but don't have it anymore because we got Apple CarPlay. So if we flip our switch panel over, you'll see it is a three prong. That top copper one is gonna be our negative. The middle is gonna be power in and then the bottom being power out. So you need a 12 volt source powering to this one. And obviously when the switch is off, it's not sending any power out of this, but then when you flip it on, it is sending out of here, which will trigger our two-step to start working. Uh, we're gonna be using a fuse tap into this panel right here. I've gotta figure out which one of these has a constant 12 volt power source when the truck is running. Rat's nest. <laughs> Put a little add a fuse on here. We'll crimp it down. Going for this little tin. The ignition. It is ten A ignition three. Just like that. All right, guys, we are wiring everything up. I already hooked the ground wire up to our switch. I've got that ran just like the trigger switch through the dash to, we're gonna hook it up to the negative uh, for the hood. Uh, we're about to hook up our power, which is gonna go to the center pin on our switch. And then our trigger is gonna go on the bottom. So strip that down. Throw our heat shrink on there before we forget. Get this twisted up. Feed that on there. Where's our pliers? Crimp it down. Mr. Winston is tripping out. I'm sure y'all can hear him barking. Slip our heat shrink up on there. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take this and hook it on to the middle prong on our switch. 
work it on there. Come on, pop back. There we go. All right. So we got negative. We got power in. Now our last one is going to be power out. Now before I hook this up, I'm going to go ahead on the other end of our ground and get that wired up. All right, boys, got her all put back together. Boom. Tell me that doesn't look freaking killer. Hopefully it works, but I'm stoked with how it looks. So we should power on and then be able to flip that switch and have use right there. And we should be able to key off. Yep, perfect. Went from the fuse tap right here on the ignition for our power. Obviously that is working. Then we've got our trigger switch or trigger wire to the switch. And then our negative is running up there to the hood ground. So all should be good. All right, now that she's up to temp, let's go ahead and test it out. So switch is turned off. It should just free rev. All right, perfect. Now we should flip our switch on and about 3000 RPMs, we should have our two-step engaging. What is your emergency? I hear shots! Okay, ma'am, calm down. What kind of shots? I ain't gonna lie, I've been slacking on our marketplace wheeling and dealing, but I finally just threw a bunch of stuff back up there, and we are finally saying goodbye to Larry's stock wheels and the Crosswind MTs. I've thrown these up there a couple times and just got tired of dealing with people, uh, but hopefully the guy that says he's gonna meet me is actually gonna meet me. <laughs> And uh, these babies are going to be gone, freeing up quite a bit of space and a little bit of cash that, of course, we're going to roll right back into the channel. All right, boys, let that be a message. If you can hold out through all the crazies on Marketplace, you can actually sell your stuff for what you want to sell it for. So I listed them babies for 800 bucks, which is fair, man. It's $1,000 tires on some old wheels, but in good shape. And man, I had offers of freaking 400 bucks. Trade you a, a, you know, a $200 shotgun. You gotta hold out. Just don't even reply to them crazy things. Somebody out there has got the money and they wanna buy it. And that's exactly what I did. Answered a boatload of questions and just sold them to this guy right here. He said he's gonna put them on his hunting truck. And we $800 richer. Well, I've officially got the marketplace grind in full effect, y'all. It's gonna be the second set of wheels and tires we're saying goodbye to. These are the ones that came on Shorty, which are a pretty desirable 17 with some pretty good, uh, like 32 inch tall BFG all-terrains. So, got a guy coming to pick those up right now, saying goodbye. Then we got the OG LTZs left, um, the 17s that came on Denim, and then we're gonna be selling the ones off of Betty, the 22 by 12s and 35. So uh, yeah, just <laughs> freaking marketplace grinding, boys. We are officially saying goodbye to our second setup of the day. This is probably the only one I'm kind of regretting getting rid of. I really was gonna put the uh, 35 1250 Kumos on here. I'm kind of wishing I had of, but nonetheless, I threw up all the wheels and tires that we had uh, just laying around and we're saying goodbye. So second setup of the day that we're selling third of, uh, well, I sold one Saturday and two today, which is Monday. So we, uh, we, we turning them loose boys. Just got to sort through the 10 billion, uh, low ball messages and actually just stick to our guns and sell them for what we're asking. So old boy will be here any minute now and we'll be saying goodbye to the OGs. <laughs>